Welcome all your league fans to the next episode of The Quarter with Kyle Hines. Um, I have my very, very good friend and special guest, um, Maccabi Tel Aviv Center slash Powerful Force slash All Everything, Othello Hunter. Othello, how you doing, my man? I'm doing good, man. How you doing over there, man? I like the intro for sure, you know. How you so, doing, man? man? So, I'm good, man. I can't, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, especially you know, during these times, you know, we're all kind of, you know, living day by day and everything is kind of uncertain right now. But, um, you know, we're just doing our, doing our best to remain positive and, you know, making sure my family and everybody is safe. How about you, Javi? How are you guys, uh, you know, getting through this, uh, this, this, this hiatus that we're kind of going through right now with the, the virus and everything? I mean, we're doing good. You know what I mean? I would say it's kind of tough uh, being in the house for so long right now. Uh, you know, grocery stores, just got to do that thing, you know, grocery stores, staying away from people and everything. So, I mean, that's tough and just not being able to, that routine, you know what I mean? We got that routine as basketball players, you wake yeah. up, you know, you know, you know the routine, man, you go to the gym, yeah. it's like, you know, no gym, no game. It's like, whoa. But other than that, man, we're doing good, man. We're just more time with my family and my daughter. So that's good. Have you... Yeah, you've seen all over social media, like people doing stuff to, you know, different things to try to stay in shape and, you know, different challenges and different workouts. Have you done, what have you been doing to kind of, you know, keep yourself fit and uh, in shape while, while you're at home? To be honest, I worked out at home once. One time. <laughs> uh, you know, they get, they gave us, a, you know, a little workout to do like a four day. I was like, four days, you know, I'm going to rest my body for a while. <laughs> you know. <laughs> hey, <man. laughs> And then I actually got to go to the gym uh, yesterday. So I actually went to go oh. lift some weights and stuff. So I got to lift some weights yesterday. So that felt kind of good, but still was like cautious of going, but still it felt good. It felt great. That's good, man. That's good. So, I mean, this, this is your first season in Tel Aviv. Um, how are you enjoying it? How are you, you know, how, obviously, I mean, right now we're kind of at a stop, but up to this point, how, how did you look at the season and how are you enjoying um, your first year in Tel Aviv? Man, dude, to be honest with you, this first year has been great. And, you know, um, mm -hmm. the expectations for the team, for a guy here, I felt like they were pretty low. The standards mm -hmm. for me, like, you know, just to make the playoff, you know, but I felt like we had a special team, you know what I mean? I felt like it was a great opportunity to, to start over, you know, uh, with a new group of guys, guys who some have never been into the Euroleague, you know, yeah. and, you know, it was just – it was a magical moment, you know what I mean, to be mm -hmm. playing so good basketball and everybody kind of adjusted to each other quickly. Coach and everything's been great, you know. I worked with Salapas before and, you know, just to have him around and understand me as a player has been great. And I feel like, man, we – it was it was a good run, you know what I mean? It was a good run, mm -hmm. you know, but we don't know what's going on what's going to happen, but hopefully, you know, something to figure out. If something doesn't, then, you know, you just got to worry about the next year and – this gives guys, I would say, opportunity to heal their bodies, you know. So that's the yeah. good thing coming up from this is that, and you know, spending more time with your family and kids, you know, that's that's what's more important and our health. So yeah, I think that's been the the positive about it all. You know, like having an opportunity to spend time with your your, your family and kids. But um, I, I said it before on this show, you, you guys have been my favorite team to watch, even though we've been competitors, even though that you know we're kind of like we've been in the battle, um, you know, for playoff position, but. Um, when we're not playing on, you know, on a Thursday or Friday, um, I enjoy watching you guys. I enjoy watching you guys play. Um, I mean, the way you guys, you know, compete, the way you guys battle, the how hard you guys play. I mean, it's always, you know, entertaining to watch you guys play, especially at home. Yeah. I mean, appreciate it for sure. I, I really appreciate it. I would say, say this, like, just the home crowd, man, those fans are, like, amazing, dude. Like, they bring a lot of energy and they pick us up, you know what I mean, when we're down and, you know, the good thing about these guys, I feel like nobody wants to lose, you know, and that's yeah. the best feeling when you got guys on your team. Nobody yeah. wants to lose. Everybody will give everything they got, every possession to try to get a win. You know, you win some, you lose some, but nobody gives up. So that's that's the great thing, you know what I mean? And the craziest thing about you watching me is I watch you guys all the time and I watch <laughs> that scrimmage. <laughs> I was so happy, so happy. I'm scrolling on Euro hoops, and it's like chest is screaming. I'm like, what? I gotta click it. I clicked it. I said that. Yeah. I'm not even gonna lie to you. And watch the whole thing start to finish. And I was like reminiscing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Think about 
court and watching the players, coach and all that, man. I was just like, it brought back some memories, man. But I'm glad y'all man. did that. I got to see some basketball somehow. Yeah. I mean, well, well speaking about memories and, and you played on some great clubs. Like, obviously, we were teammates last year. You played in Olympiacos. You played in uh, Madrid. You played in uh, Siena. Um, where ha- what has kind of been your best basketball memory um, so far up to, up to your career? Oh, man. Well, obviously, you know, winning the EuroLeague has been a great memory yeah. for me. But, like, just, I would say Siena, you know. And I say Siena because nobody knew who I was, like, EuroLeague. Um, the team was always a great team club wise, you know what I mean? They were always mm-hmm. huge, but to get that opportunity to play in the yearly for my first time and the guys I had on my team, man, we were all hungry and we were just like hooping. You know what I mean? Like when you just mm-hmm. got there and just having fun, every possession wasn't stressing, it was just having fun. You know what I mean? So I'll say seeing on that end. You know, definitely when I got here, man, it was more of man, let's just be relaxed now. You know what I mean? Like yeah. not relax like, oh you won one just relax. like, dude comfortable in your own skin you know what you can do you know what you got just go out there and just play how you always want to just play just have, just have fun you know what i mean like so yeah a couple of years is all about trying to have fun man, and enjoying the game not being stressed out all the time and you know i'm gonna be competitive but it's like hey man let's why do we why do we get in this game because we enjoyed it you know what i mean yeah. so, I opportunity, opportunity to enjoy and enjoy your vet status a little bit yeah, man, but that kind of stops once all these injuries start. <laughs> you know? Man, I would love taking those Israeli breaks, but hey, man, they love the game. Yeah, man, it's, just, it's part of it. Now, you've, we talked about this a little bit before, but you've had the opportunity to play with some great guards, you know, going from um, Sergio Lul to with Luka Dantes to um, Nando to Corey to now with Scotty Wilbekin to Spanulis. Um, the list can go on and on. Um, you know, who has been um, your favorite guard that you play with? Man, I'm not going to lie. That's tough for me to answer. I can't pick one, dude. Like, I really came mm-hmm. and I sit down and think about it. All those guys are great in their own self. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, I love playing with all of them. You know what I mean? Like, it was yeah. so hard. Like, yeah. everybody brought something different. You know what I mean? Like, I can go down from even from Taylor to Marquez Hines to exactly. freaking yeah. dude, it, it just it just goes down the list, man. Like and was, all those guys are great, man. I love playing with everybody, you know. And see, I'm just glad that I got another guard, a couple of guards who are, you know, just as amazing as those guys. You know what I mean? So it's just, yeah, exactly. I can't pick, man. <laughs> we, we've been, okay. I think, me and you, we we both both been fortunate enough in our career, like we were playing with like some of the top guards. Um, you yeah. know, and generate this generation of basketball. I mean, you look at, like, who we played with, and it's been incredible. I mean, this generation is going to be known for, like, its guard play. I mean, all the guards at yeah. every team, you know, have somebody that's, like, you, know, you can see it this season. You know, everybody has somebody that can put up, possibly put up, you know, big games and big scoring games every game. Yeah, man. That's what I like, man. Like you say, top to bottom, every team and guards is just, like, amazing. You know what I mean? They can be top guards like top you know in in the league period you know what i mean it's like how do you pick between those guys you know what i mean and it's just what some of these guards are doing this year is just like amazing like larkin is just it's killing it you know Mitch is killing it mike killing yeah. it you know scotty freaking Tyler scotty. Dorsey is just yeah. man nando's still doing nando stuff you know what i mean it, it, it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> crazy. You can go, you can go on go on and on yeah. you can go on and on now, going, we talked about, you know, some of the great guard play this year and also some of the great guard play in history. But now let's, let's go to some of the, the bigs. Um, who's been the, your favorite player to play against in your career? There's been, like, one guy you like, man, like, I'm looking forward to matching up against, like, or in the history of your early since you've been here, like, who's been that guy that you've been excited to kind of play and match up against? Well, when he was here, I feel like Barus has always brought the best out of me. Mm-hmm. Uh because he, I feel like when I first played him, he kicked my butt. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, and I respected that. I was like, okay, you can't take guys lightly. You know what I mean? So I love playing against that guy. You know what I mean? You definitely are one of them. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I can't say I know what you're going to do, but it's like I know what you're going to bring energy-wise. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, same, yeah, same. 
You know what I mean? Like, you got to yeah. be on your P's and Q's when it comes to yeah, these guys. So they definitely use guys. And Gustavo, too. Mm-hmm. Gustavo was definitely somebody I love playing against. Yeah. I think, I think for me, it was, uh, I mean, obviously you. I mean, I said, I mean, me playing against you, we know each other so well. So I like playing against guys that I know, I know from Capita. Um, but also Sofo, like big Sofo playing against him and matching up against him, like, that was, like, because it was just yeah, so unique, right. you was playing against somebody that was, like, you know, he's, you know what I mean, the Greek Shaq, like, baby, you know what I mean, baby Shaq, so it was, like, playing against him, it was, like, yo, you could, you can't, you, you can't come in soft, because you're going to be soft, or he's going to go right at you every play. I remember that guy. Whew. He was tough. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh, uh, oh, man. Is it, is it Anthony Jawa? Oh, Nate, no, Nathan, Nathan Jawa, that played for uh, Artisan. Yeah, yeah. I remember Gala, I was Dang. like, who's this bad guy right here, dude? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man, yeah, was, man, he was, he was tough, too. Yeah, he was, he was tough, too. Now, we, we speak on that. Now, is there is there one, like, like, all big men wish they were point guards. We all think we're like, you know, point guards. Anytime we get the up the floor, we, you know, we, we try to throw another pass to try and go coast to coast. Sometimes it works out. Sometimes we throw a turnover. But you already know, you know, in our minds, we all think we're point guards. Is there one skill that uh, another player in your league has or had that you wish you had? Like for me, like I wish I could pass like Nick. I wish I could pass like Nick for Lakers. I wish I could be like, you know, coming out of court and just, you know, drop dimes off like, you know, like that. I mean, I wish that was is this is there one player or one like skill you wish that you was like, man, I wish I can do that. Or I wish I could shoot like J.C. Carroll. Is he the pass like uh, Dick or shoot like J.C.? Those are my those are my two. Man. Ooh. Because I would love to get some handles, you know, and keep the handles. <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like, I feel like Mike has it on the stream. Mike James yeah. got it on the stream. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'd definitely like to have Mike handles. You know what I mean? When you come to shooters, man, like, I don't want anybody to slip. I know my teammate, but Scotty got a racket, though. <laughs> yeah, true, <laughs> true. That's true. Scotty and Tyler, you know what I mean? And JC, like, a consistent three-point jump shot from those three guys. Yeah. I would love to have. Would love yeah. to have. But when you talked about passing like a point guard, I don't know. You remember that pass I did? Oh, dude. I had Nando on the corner. Oh, oh the great. brick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Oh, man. But, it, like I said, like, we, if, in our minds, we'd be like, we can do this. And, and, like, it just, like said, man, it didn't, didn't go as planned, dude. It did not exactly. go as planned. <laughs> exactly, man. Exactly. But, I mean, oh, I, I, man. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Um, you know, taking the time. Um, like I said, man, hopefully we, we all want to get back to basketball as soon as possible, sooner than later. Um, is there a message? I know we're kind of going a little bit over time, but I think it's important. Is it a message that you want to give, um, you know, to, to the fans out there in EuroLeague and the fans out there in Maccabi? Yeah, definitely, you know what I mean? Uh, stay with us all. Uh, I wish all you guys good health. You know what I mean? Um, definitely take care of your families and yourselves. You know, the game will be here. You know, but right now, as I would say people, we need to take care of ourselves, man, and really think about the next person. So uh, whatever we do, you know, do it with cautious, uh, you know, do it with love and care. You know what I mean? Care for people. Think about if I go do something, is this going to affect the next person? You know what I mean? Always keep that in your mind just to try to be a great person and really take care of ourselves through this time. All right, man. I appreciate you, man. Um, hopefully, like I said, we'll, we'll see each other soon. Um, you know, all, all our best to your family. Stay safe. Um, like I said, we'll see each other soon. I appreciate it. All right, man. You too, man. Have a good one.